equation of a polynomial from the graph. I'm Anil Kumar and in this video I'll take a few examples where we'll have graph of polynomials and we'll try to figure out what could be the possible equation. To start with let me sketch a graph here. Let us say that we have a linear zero, a quadratic zero, and let us say this is kind of an odd zero. Let's say that's our graph. Okay, so from the graph we know this one is a linear zero. Let us say this position is at minus six, and here we have a quadratic zero at minus three and a cubic zero, let us say that one is at two. So what we are trying to say is that the multiplicity of the zeros is one, two, and three. In that case, what is going to be the equation of this polynomial? Now, since we know the three zeros, we can write down the equation as y equals two, starting from left, x plus six times, x plus 3. Now this is quadratic, so multiplicity is 2, right? And the next one is x minus 2, and we are saying it is cubic, correct? Now you can see the degree of this polynomial is 3 plus 2, 5 and 1, 6 is an even degree polynomial, right? So both sides are on the same side, and we know the leading coefficient here should be negative, right? Okay. So we are assuming the value a here to give you the value family of graphs of polynomials which will represent like this, a graph. Now how to get the value of a? For that we need a point on the graph. Let us say y intercept is known to us and this value is, let us say 2 for us. We'll not, okay, let's take 2 for us. Okay, it doesn't matter any value you could select. Now that helps us to find the value of a. So here at 0 the value on the function is 2. So y is 2 when x is 0. So we get a times 0 means just 6. 0 means 3 square which will give you 9 minus 2 square will give you minus 8. Right. So we get 6 times 9 times 8 equals to a and so from here we can write what a is from here a is equals to negative 2 divided by 6 times 9 times 8 right so this can be simplified so that gives you 4 right now we can multiply these numbers so we get 6 times 9 times 4 6 times 9 times 4, which is equals to 216, right? So A is negative 1 over 216. And so this graph has an equation which is y equals to minus 1 over 216. And uh, here we have x plus 6 times x plus 3 times x minus 2 whole cube right so that is how you can get equation of this particular function right now let me change this question right so first we assume that this is uh, cubic and we got this particular equation I hope you've understood this concept right rather changing let me draw a new one okay so I'll draw another polynomial here and we'll again try to figure out its equation, okay? Now this time, let me start from this side and let us say that we have a graph which goes like this and it's kind of flattens out here, right? It goes kind of like this, comes down, comes down, and like this. Now, we are given that the x-intercepts for these graphs are, let us say this point is minus 5, this point is 1, this point is 3 for us, and we are given some other point this time. Let us say this point is 
2 minus 1. Now we need to find equation of this graph, right? Now we have this 0 which is of order 2, this 0 is of order 2, and let us say the order of this 0 is not 3 but 5. Okay, so multiplicity we are talking about that this graph multiplicity is let us say 5. Here the multiplicity is 2. Here the multiplicity is 2. In that case, find equation of this particular graph. How will you do it? We'll start exactly like we started last time. So we'll let y equals to a times x plus 5 is the first 0. Multiplicity is 5, so that goes in the top. The second 0 is at 1, x minus 1, with multiplicity of 2. The third one is at 2, x minus 2 is multiplicity at 2. So 5 plus 2 plus 2 is 9, odd degree function, it makes sense, right? Odd degree function, so it, they are facing the opposite ends. To find the value of a, we'll plug in what is given to us. At 2, y is minus 1. So minus 1 equals to a, 2 plus 5 to the power of 5, 2 minus 1, and Sorry, this was 3. This is 3, right? So I'm making it 3. So it is 2 minus 3 whole square, right? So that is how we get our equation. Now we can calculate these values using the calculator. So we have minus 1, a, it is 7 to the power of 5, and this one is square. 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 square. 2 minus 3 is minus 1 square, right? So that is what we get, and that is... 7 to the power of 5, right? So 7 to the power of 5 is equals to 16807. So it is 16807A and therefore we get A equals to minus 1 over 16807. So that is the value of A for us, right? Now since we know A, we can write down our equation. Say Y equals to minus 1 over 16807 x plus 5 to the power of 5 times x minus 1 to the power of 2 and x minus 3 square right so I made that correction it was 3 I should have written 3 here and then we get our equation I hope with this example you understand that if we know the zeros then we can get equation of the family of polynomial and if we know a point on the graph then we can specifically write equation of that polynomial. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.